Doctor Strange. Definitely one of my favorite movies that has such a great story and also a bunch of awesome visual effects. And today I will show you how you can easily, really easily recreate one of really cool effects from the movie Astral Body Projection using Photoshop. Let me show you how I did it. I started this photo manipulation by choosing a proper background, then I took a bunch of photos of myself and my friend, choose few of them that are suitable for this project and extract them out of the background. Then I position those photos in a Photoshop, how I think it's pretty good for this uh, Astral Body Projection team. And then the fun part starts. For the Astral Body effect, I lowered the opacity of the model, made a copy of it, blurred it to have like a glow effect around it, then changed everything into screen blending mode, and with the layer mask, I erased some parts even more to have even more transparent model, put everything in a group, and then even more with the layer mask made the model transparent, and this is basically it. I did exactly the same thing with another model, so screen blending mode, and repeated all the steps. You got it? No? Okay, let me show you one more time, but step by step. Okay, so let's hide one of the bodies, let's hide this one and let's go with this one all the way from the beginning. So I will put it out of the group and I will delete the whole group right here and put it into normal blending mode. So this is it, this is the starting position, I place the model where I want it to be. And what I did, I just changed it to screen blending mode, it's already transparent, it's already almost full effect right there. But I wanted to make it even more transparent on certain parts, so I created a layer mask, used a brush, really soft round brush with maybe 10 or 20% opacity black color and just erase it even more on certain parts as you can see. I want these parts to be even more transparent, like that. And also what I did, I made a copy of this by pressing Ctrl or Command J, put it below the original one and I just blur this copy. I use filter, blur, Gaussian blur and just blur it until I think it's okay. So now I cannot see anything, but here I can see some kind of a glow around the model. And this is something that I am looking for. So this is pretty cool before and after you can see the glow. I love it. So what I will do now, I will again use black round brush, soft brush and just erase with maybe 50% opacity, just erase the inner part of that glow because I want glow only to be around the model, not inside the model as you can see, like that. And, and I can now group both of them into one group, Control or Command G, name it Astral number two. And also I can create a layer mask here and then using again mask and brush, just brush out few things here even more to make it even more transparent. And this is it, it's so simple and easy, just mask out few parts here and there. And also what I can do here, I can add a motion blur, I will do that in a video you will see in a moment, but I can go here and add a filter, blur, motion blur, just choose a proper angle, blur it a little bit and this is it, it's like moving part of the astral projection out of the body. And when I put the other one here, this is it. Now let's go and watch the rest of the video. Okay, now you know what I did and how I did it. Now the next thing what I did here is to add a motion blur to both of these astral body projections just to have even more impression that they are actually moving a little bit faster than the original body. And I just blur the background using a field blur just to separate a little bit models from the background and then again change the values of motion blur and so on and so forth, but this is basically just tweaking the motion blur, the masks, and here as you can see, because I was sitting on a stool, I just used the liquify to add a little bit more of the bottom part of myself, just not to be so flat like you're actually sitting on a stool. Here I decided to add even more glow to the astral bodies by painting it manually using a new layer in a linear dodge blending mode. If you want to know how to add a glow in a different face in Photoshop, check out my playlist about that. Then I decided to add even more effects of astral bodies coming out of the original body by painting a white line on the body and smudging it out, adding a wind filter. I didn't like wind filter so I just used a smudge tool and also motion blur tool and add a few strokes of my smoke with custom made smoke cloud dust brush and also blur that out and this is what I have so it's pretty cool. Then I blurred the 
other model just to have like motion blur effect there too on the fists and uh, then just place that fist to be visible between my my arms here reposition the models to have that even more visible tweak the layer mask and this is it Here I lowered the brightness of the background a little bit to blend it even more with the models. Also experimented again with that uh, first part of the astral body projection from the original body by making copy of it, blur it, make it brighter and blur it with the motion blur and just erase parts that I don't want to be visible. I painted the light on the background a little bit more on the left and right side and then used the Nier plugin to add a final glow just on the astral bodies itself. I pretty much like how it came out and then I did just a few more tweakings before I went to a final color grading. Then I merged everything into one single layer, went to Adobe Camera to do a final color grading like I'm usually doing at the end of my photo manipulation process. But this time, except the camera, I used Nick Color FX Pro to add a few more details and contrast. And also, I used Boris FX Optics plugin that I really love to uh, add film simulation and some grain there. And this is a final result. Read guys, you just saw how you can really easily create the astral body projection from Doctor Strange movie in Photoshop. What you need is just to take a photo of yourself and your friend who is punching you and just take several photos in different positions so you will be able to use different positions as different parts of astral projection and just use these steps. Screen blending mode, layer mask and another layer blur it to have like a glow also you can later add a manual glow like you saw in the video if you don't know how to add a glow in photoshop check out my playlist it's right here a playlist about different ways of how you can add a glow in photoshop it's really easy and simple but the glow is really powerful you can emphasize your image even more if you have any kind of questions leave me down there in the comment section below i will be glad to answer it have fun practice experiment and enjoy your creative process. See you in my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.